Hello everyone, trying out some new things here. We're looking at something that Jake obviously has posted from Esports Talk. People not being very happy with Valorant pursuing cheat makers. Let's jump into it. Oh, oh no! Oh, your $600 you spent on a lifetime subscription to an aim hack. Oh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> They're not gonna be refunded. You got banned. Am I this dude's choosing violence out here? <laughs> to feel bad for anyone in today's video, I don't know. What's up, people? If oh you know dear. One thing about today's video, I'm a bit pent. I already know the story here. Riot has be is basically suing uh, cheap makers. I'm juiced but up on coffee. I'm yeah. two and a half cups in. It's 6:33 a.m. while I record this. How are you guys doing? What you <laughs> sipping on? Welcome back, this you dude. To more esports talk. All I right. About a weird story out there because we've talked about a different one in the past. That being Activision pursuing cheap makers. We had several videos on this because it was very cool to see. And I will say, let's be honest, didn't really work out to full fruition. Uh, Activision and Call of Duty continued to struggle without an anti-cheat, but at one point or another, they were pursuing a couple big cheat makers and even sending detectives to their doorstep. It's actually oh my. games alongside Bungie for both Valorant as well as Destiny 2 doing something very similar. We're, of course, going to focus on Valorant and Riot Games, but it's... And to be very clear, Valorant uh, is taking a more i think harsh and more serious i mean they're both taking serious approaches obviously but i think at least valorant there's more money in valorant cheats than than destiny we'll 2 cheats some devs out there actually teaming up to pursue cheat makers and hopefully will result in some big boy bans of which they've already seen some decent success as according to polygon it's actually bungie and riot alleged that santos one of the cheat makers alongside the cheat known as gator cheat the staff there sell and distribute their cheating software through a website but also via email telegram and discord the software provided is specifically designed to go undetected by riot and bungie's anti-cheat tech systems and access to the cheating software ranges anywhere from 90 dollars a month to 500 dollars for lifetime access which Lawyers do allege that apparently Gators Cheats has made tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars from, with Valorant Cheats apparently being quite a bit more expensive As than I said. Destiny 2s. Which I guess would the only reason I know that, by the way, is because this isn't actually new news. Um, this is what this was posted like what five days ago, as in the article. So I, I don't know. I don't know many people out there. I don't know many cheaters. All right, let's not get my words twisted. <laughs> I still want to be cheating in Destiny 2 as compared to a rising competitive FPS, which some people might even be trying to go pro in as well as cheat in, which is it's, it's always baffled me that someone downloads cheats and thinks they can make it to the pro level which I guess I probably should be shaking my head because who knows if someone is still out there doing that. But this honestly is very cool to see and apparently success has been had so far. Uh, also, if you the main thing, well, not the main thing, but one thing that I think about more than anything is if you were to do that, I, I just wouldn't be, I mean, apart from like the wrong of it, the, that's obvious, I wouldn't be able to live with that hanging over my head. I wouldn't like, I would genuinely have too much anxiety apart from the wrongs of it. I would have too much Your anxiety. Cheats. I am not sure if this is the same one that Activision did pursue, but it sounds very similar as one they might have tried to track down as well. But imagine, right? These companies could have their own personal staff because they sell that many cheats out there. Apparently, a couple of these cheats have already been detected. And thanks to all of you Reddit people out there, let's read some comments of the people who were detected and their money. It was wasted. I, I oh, really no. can't choose my favorites. Out oh, of these no. Three, but certainly some of them have to be a guy like Blake freaking out absolute madman oh like no ramen wasting his money a and then we got blake continuing to freak out in the discord once it was revealed that their cheat was detected or the dude who spent six hundred dollars that would certainly suck or poor lou who had just recently bought three daily keys the thing like, is right when like when i think about gaming right i think about uh at least for like most gamers not for myself personally but for most gamers it's meant to be like you know this this pastime that you sort of enjoy or whatever and these people are putting themselves in, you know, I mean, I don't know the, the legal specifics of it, but I, I just wouldn't want to be anywhere near any of this. The frick. Either way, it is great to see some sort of combative effort against these cheat makers. And I hope and I wish them the best of luck. Will it result in an actual, you know, an actual, uh, you know, something meaningful? Activision, I would say it made some headlines. Did it make a difference? Maybe a menial one. Hopefully this time around, if you're going to join up with Bungie and Riot Games, they can actually make a difference and scare the living crap out of cheat makers to the point where they're like, okay, let's not do this. 
We can only cross our fingers and hope, but hey, it's a step in the- The main issue as well, one of the main issues, and I keep getting asked when, is because obviously, like I say, you know, running Valorant Herb, a lot of people, especially with the early access, think that I can, or I have more control over Valorant. Than, I have no control over Valorant, to be very clear. Uh, I can make videos and talk about feedback, which sometimes Riot, obviously, he is and stuff, but I definitely don't have any control regardless. So a lot of people are asking, when will Valorant, uh, the Valorant team, basically fix the cheating issue as long as cheating is a profitable business which these people make it then it's gonna be an ongoing battle basically and all they can do is pursue them through legal action ban them when they find them etc and eventually and this is what i was saying about the anxiety eventually most people get caught so in the right direction and so next time what do you guys think about this one huh don't go wasting your money on that kind of... You can, you can get a lot of things in life for <laughs> 500, 600 bucks right. besides a lifetime access to a cheating software. Let me tell you, there's a lot... All right, awesome. Well, that being said, before I go, I want to say, obviously, I'm doing something a bit different with this channel. I'm going to be posting a lot on this channel at the moment. We're also posting a lot on what's going to be eventually called Valorant Hub 2. Right now, it's called Valorant Hub Esports. The link is in the description below and the pinned comment as well. So you can watch that, but... I'm really doing a few different things that you haven't seen me do before with Valorant stuff. Um, and this is one of them, obviously. I've never reacted to an eSports talk video before, so this will be the first time. But that being said, if this video was interesting or helpful to you in any way, should perform a like, it's always very much appreciated. Of course, Jake's slash eSports talks video, of course, will be in the description as well. So if you want to watch the full video without me talking, by all means. But that being said, have a great day, everyone. I'll see you in the next video.